this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can change colours at the end of your row using multiple stitch examples. I will also show you how to change colour mid row as well which is really handy when it comes to colour work. I will leave timestamps in the description box below as well as a link to the blog post where you can find all the written instructions. But don't forget if you find this video helpful then I would love for you to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. Okay let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to change colour when you're working a double crochet. This is a UK term, in the US this is known as single crochet. So what we would do here is work our row as normal and then once we get to the last stitch, we're going to start our beginning stitch or our end stitch and then before we do the last pull through of the stitch, which is the yarn over pull through two, we're actually going to pick up our new colour now. So what you want to do here is take your new colour and then you want to make a loop. You want to leave a long tail end so that we can work this in as we go through. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops instead of yarning over and pulling through with your uh, beginning colour. So at this point you want to pull down with your colour A and then just pull down slightly with your new colour, colour B. Now I'm going to snip off my yarn so that I can show you how you can work this in as you go along. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip this off, leaving roughly the same length tail end as your tail end from the second colour. And then what we want to do here is take these tail ends and then put them around the stitch that we've just finished off. This will just help to secure this in. We're going to chain one as we would do normally and turn our work. And you can see that that just pulls these stitches into the same line that we're going to be working backwards because we're going to work these tail ends in as we go and this just helps to save a bit of time with sewing in those ends. So what we want to do here is begin now by doing our double crochet into that very first stitch. So my hook goes into the stitch and then the tail ends are over the top of the work as well. So we're actually going to crochet these in. So it'd be yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and there we have our first stitch. We then go into the next stitch, making sure that those tail ends are above the hook and work our double crochet. And you're just going to work your way along and you want to ensure that these tail ends are crocheted in for a good few inches just to make sure that they are really nice and secure. So this is just a really good tip to save having to sew in your ends and just make sure that that stitch is nice and secure as well. And by looping it over at the beginning of your row will also ensure that it's uh, nice and secure. Once you've, obviously my sample piece is a little bit smaller, so once you've crocheted that in to the amount that you feel comfortable, you can just let the remainder of the tail ends just hang out at the back of the work and then you can snip those off later. So you would just continue to build your work and then change colour again when you next need to. I'm now going to show you how to do the colour change at the end of the row with a half treble crochet. This is half double crochet in the US. So for a half treble we would yarn over, insert into the next stitch. In this case it's your turning chain from the previous row. Yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops left on your hook. Ordinarily, we would yarn over and pull through these last three loops. But because we're doing a colour change and this is the last pull through, we're going to go ahead and grab our second colour, make a loop on the hook and then draw that through. And then gently pull down on the 
uh, first colour. So this time I'm actually going to show you how you can float your yarn up. So this saves even more time with sewing in ends um, or crocheting and ends and this works especially well if you're doing uh, multiples of two. So that means if you're doing two rows of one colour, two rows of the next. I probably wouldn't use this if I was doing four rows and a larger stitch. Maybe I would use it with a double crochet if I was doing four rows, but you don't want this to be carried up too far up the work. So this is perfect if you're working two rows. So what we're doing here is we're going to drop the first colour and then we're going to pull that yarn over and chain up one. So just as we did in the double crochet, turn our work. Um, I'm just going to do an extra chain for my half treble crochet and then I'm going to yarn over and work my half treble into that first stitch. And I'm going to carry that tail end through and crochet it in just as I did with the double crochet. So just working those stitches as normal, crocheting in the tail end for a good one or two inches or more if you feel like you need to. I'm working my way to the end of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and build another row and then I'm going to show you how we'll change colours again but float this yarn up. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of this second row of my colour two and I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the last stitch, yarn over and pull through so I have these three stitches remaining. Now whereas we would loop the yarn before, we're going to do that as well but we won't have a tail end here. So pick up the first colour and then yarn over and pull through and that changes that second colour. So we might have to do a little bit of an adjustment here because we don't want to pull too tight on this yarn and cause buckling. And then we also just want to pull down on the second colour just to hold that in place. I'm going to chain two and turn my work. And there we have the colour change and we're floating up our yarn. Now, obviously you're going to have a little bit of a um, tail here or a gappy piece. Now, I would use this method when you know you're going to add a border because you can work that in with your border. Um, if you don't feel like you're going to add a border to a project, then I probably wouldn't use this method. I would just use the first method where you're going to carry your yarn through. Um, so I would do the same with this tail end. I would leave that drop, work my two rows and then float that yarn back up. So this is how to change colours on a half treble and how to float your yarn. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to change colours on a treble row. So this is UK treble, known as double crochet in the US. So we would yarn over, insert our hook into the last stitch, which is our turning chain. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two you'll have two loops on the hook and then we would normally yarn over and pull through both of those loops but of course we're going to change colour so we're going to loop our yarn and pull that through this time I'm going to use the method of carrying or crocheting in the yarn so I'm going to snip off that tail end bring both tail ends over and in between the stitches and then chain up three one two and three, turn the work and then I'm going to continue to finish off this row by doing a treble crochet into each stitch all the way along, catching those tail ends for a good one to two inches or more so that it saves us having to sew in our ends. So as I say, you're just going to 
work this all the way across until you've finished your treble crochets. And that is how to change colour on a treble row. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to change colour mid row. Now I've done a little sample swatch here. There are 15 stitches in this row. I have used half treble because um, I feel that this is the one that most people get confused about. Uh, but the prin principle for changing colour is the same as what we would do at the end of the row. Um, so as I say, I've done 15 stitches. I'm going to do five stitches in colour A, so the first colour five stitches in colour B and then five stitches in colour A again to show you what we would do here. So the most important thing to remember is when we are going to change colour, we're going to change colour on the last stitch of that block. So it wouldn't be we do five stitches and then change colour, we would actually change colour on the fifth stitch. So I've got my turn and chain here, I have one, two, three and four stitches. I'm going to go ahead and do my half treble. We'll start my half treble, which is half double in the US. Instead of yarning over and pulling through on this last yarn over pull through, I'm going to grab my color B, my new color, loop it on just as we did before, and then pull through. So if you were doing the double crochet, then you would just um, do that on the last pull through of that stitch and the same with a treble crochet. Now I'm going to be using colour A again, so I'm going to carry the tail end and the non-working colour across by laying it down and working it in. And then I'm going to do these next five stitches, but I'm going to change colour on my fifth stitch. So that's one, two, three, and here's where I'm going to change colour. So I'm going to start the stitch. I'm going to drop the tail end of the colour B and pick up colour A and yarn over, pull through. I'll just pull down slightly on colour B and I'm going to carry this along with me as well. So I'm going to yarn over and start the next stitch and finish off this row. So if we work our way to the end of the row, I'm carrying colour B with me, holding it to the back of the work. And I'll do my last stitch here. I'm going to chain two for my turn in chain, one and two, and turn the work. And then I'm going to float colour B up so that I can also work over this yarn again. Now I'm always going to carry this on the wrong side of the work so that we can't see it as much when we're working through. So I'll go ahead and do those four half trebles, there's three and four, and I'm going to change colour on this fifth stitch, so insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, drop colour A, pick up colour B, and then yarn over and pull through. I'll carry colour A, and do four half trebles, one, two, three, four, and then on this fifth, I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, drop, colour B and then pull through colour A. Now if you're doing a block of colour uh, like I'm going to do here, I'm just going to make a square within this piece. 
and you know that you're not going to need to use this color again until you are one stitch above you can just leave that floating out the back of the work while you finish off the end of this row and then I'll go ahead and work up to my next row and show you how you would pick that up and float it up um, if you want to work it that way. So I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, so I've just done these four half trebles here and then I'm going to start my next stitch so I can change color. Because I've left this hanging out the back, it's simply a matter of lifting it up and pulling it through and continuing to carry colour A through so that you can do your colour block. Just be mindful that you're always carrying the uh, non-working colour to the back of the work so that you see it less throughout the work. I'm going to change colour here. I'll just drop this towards the back for now while I finish this off and then continue with my colour block work. So that is how you change colour mid row. Okay so that is how you change colour at the end of your row and mid row. Um, I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. If you did don't forget to share with your friends, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!